Well, here we are in the town of Bright. It is action time. Today's the day of our demo rides and uh, we are going on a few rides over to Mita Mita. So we've got a dirt ride coming up and we've got a uh, bitumen ride all going to the Mita Mita pub for lunch. And uh, I'm a bit shaky after having so many drinks last night. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm uh, Taylor and Charlie for the dirt ride. I uh, did that ride yesterday. That was amazing. Uh, very challenging ride so yeah I don't know how I'm gonna go today this could be fun but uh, yeah great turnout here it's just awesome to be in bright surrounded by so many awesome people V-Stroms everywhere lining the streets everywhere you look there's just V-Stroms cruising around doing stuff it's just awesome totally amazing uh, yeah so uh, stay tuned for uh, some more adventures this is gonna be an epic day We are here, gathered in all our V-Strom glory for the Ozdrom birthday bash. It's our third birthday. We are an Australian uh, Facebook group for V-Strom owners. And uh, yeah, we've done this every year. Uh, we did the first one in Walker in New South Wales. Last year was Crow's Nest in Queensland. And this is the third one in Bright Victoria. This is a stunning part of the world here. And we are heading off at the moment on our dirt ride. We've got the, a couple of group rides leading to go over the mountains and uh, have a nice lunch at the Mitter Mitter pub and then we're going to head back uh, whichever way it takes our fancy. So uh, yeah, I'm the tail end Charlie for the dirt ride. I did it yesterday just to make sure the route was all clear and everything and uh, it's it's going to be a challenging ride. I've got a little bit of a hangover, a little bit tired today, uh, but no, nah, she'll be right. The bitumen ride is leaving in 10 minutes time and we'll meet them over there. Yesterday it was incredibly hot for the ride over the mountains and uh, today is no different. It's going to be stinking hot up there on the dirt road. There's old Captain Cranky in front of me. He's doing his duty as uh, corner marker on the first corner we've come to. Good job, Captain. Before we get to the dirt section though, we've got the absolutely amazing Tawonga Gap to go over. This is a little piece of bitumen riding paradise this road is just amazing corner after corner just so much fun kind of feels like I'm just on my usual ride with Captain Cranky at the moment it's just the two of us the rest of the group uh, way ahead there they are good to see Captain Cranky's got his backpack this time but he's forgotten to do that the strap and they're uh, flapping about in the breeze the captain's flaps are flapping uh, that is such a glorious road so awesome Back together with Big Kev and Captain Cranky again. That's where we're headed. Straight through that gap over there and up and over the mountains to the other side. Alrighty, we have regrouped and we're just about to uh, head into the hills. Corner marking system is working so far. Alrighty, this is it, we are into the dirt. It's going to be a dusty old trip over the mountain today. It's a rocky old road, this one, pretty rough. But uh, I prefer that sort of rough surface because you know what it's going to be doing, it's predictable. You just take it easy. Whereas if you're on a uh, really fast, gravel road that seems smooth it's just been graded or something you, you can have like slippery marbles or potholes that have been filled with dust and you just can't see them at least this is uh, predictable it's probably going to be a little bit slower than the pace we had over the hill here yesterday which is three of us everyone's got to stay back and take it easy get out of the dust of the rider in front of them Yeah. <clears throat> so dusty at the back here. <laughs> I'll just ride with you, yeah. Be like be like old times. <laughs> I was worried about this happening. All good? Yeah. Yeah, right. All 
all good. Alrighty, here we are blocking the road. Uh, we've had one little incident where someone fell off and uh, just uh, fixing his bike at the moment. Bit of uh, duct tape and cable ties. That should get it sorted. He's got no, uh, no footrest and levers so he can't change gears. That's a bit of a bugger. You got your backpack? <laughs> just hanging back a little bit just to let that dust clear. It's uh, so dry up here. Wouldn't surprise me if a uh, bushfire came through this area at any stage soon. When I bite my teeth together I can feel the dirt just crunching between them. Another one. Oh man. You okay? Do you want to put, push it up there and try and straighten it? Yeah, I hope it doesn't snap, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. You okay though? Uh, we need something for leverage. Actually, the uh, have you got toolkit? No. Uh, all right. Yeah, I've got some. Uh, we've had another little off here. Um, rider is okay. Just trying to straighten up the lever. Uh, got no gear lever at the moment. It's all bent and uh, it's hitting on the um, foot peg. Far out. I'm having trouble with my ignition. I didn't think it was going to start then. The others have gone on a little bit. Uh, it gives me a little bit of dust-free riding until I catch up with them. This dirt route today is uh, proving to be quite the adventure. A couple of offs. Riders are okay. Just bent levers, broken levers. So uh, yeah, they're having trouble changing gears. So it's uh, a bit slow for them getting out. Just got to puddle along. How gorgeous is this scenery? I know the camera's not going to pick it up through the trees, but oh man, it is beautiful out there. There's no lookouts really on this road to get a real good view of it, but yeah, stunning countryside. Love it. It's going to be a slow old trip out at this pace, but um, that's okay. Thankfully the riders are both fine. Oh yeah, there's a bit of a lookout. Look at that. Wow, have a look at that. That is beautiful. Except for the power lines. Fun and games. Alrighty, another little rest stop here. You know, just to regroup and uh, check on damaged bikes. Everyone's all good. Uh, we'll get out of here alive. That's the main thing. <laughs> Quite the adventure. The rest of the group are gonna go on to the pub, get as many people there on time as possible. Well, they're still gonna be late after a couple of delays up here, but get them there as early as possible for the meals to come out and uh, make it easier on the pub and we'll just put on in the three of us I guess yeah she still can't get uh, anything but first gear for some reason the gear lever was that bent that it might have put pressure on the, um, the internal workings of it somewhere, somewhere I don't know so yeah it's just a matter of getting it down to mid her and then she's going to try and like get back to bright and maybe tow it back to Melbourne 
Yeah, so she's stuck in first gear there and the other bike up ahead, he's stuck in third gear I think from memory. Uh, he can change gears, but he's got no lever so yeah, <laughs> you have to change it by hand then put the lever back in the uh, top box. Just select the gear you want and stick with it. It actually doesn't feel as hot today as it did yesterday up here. So this isn't too bad just cruising along at this slow pace. I'm getting a little bit of breeze through the, the vents in my jacket. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little cruise through the forest. At least uh, at this pace I get to look around and check out the scenery a little bit more than at, I did yesterday at the faster pace. Still putting along down the hill. We're getting there slowly. It's okay. Alrighty, Captain Cranky was just stopped by the uh, creek there and uh, waiting for us to come by. So uh, we let the other uh, slow riders just head off in front and. Uh, Stop there for a few minutes and uh, Captain cranky has gone ahead and I'm all on my lonesome now, all alone, which is uh, okay because I've got no dust. Ah, oh, I did have no dust. Fuck me out. Holy shit, I can't say a thing. Okay, no more cars coming, that's good. Up with the visor, and up with the speed. Let's uh, get out of here. Catch up to everyone, have some lunch. Here we are, just about out of the hills. We've got a bit of a straight run here. A little bit more dirt, and uh, then we pick up the bitumen. Oh, they've got everything set up for a rally out here. Uh, these were not here yesterday. There's extra signs out here that I, I didn't remember seeing. So yeah, of course, that's just for the, the rally. Well, hopefully we don't come across any rally cars. <laughs> getting all sideways around the corner on us. Victorian Rally Championship. So yeah, it's pretty full on. This is the way we go. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> It's obviously already closed from this end, but uh, there's no signage at our end. And that is the end of the dirt. Now I've got to still putt along the bitumen at uh, first gear pace. <laughs> They're happy. Well, we made it. Finally got to the pub. Only half an hour late for lunch. <laughs> Bistrums everywhere. We're taking over meter meter. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at Warren. <laughs> oh, that much off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> 
and now it's it's changing up. Yeah, oh, really? Saw, yeah, didn't you see me going yeah. one, two, three? Oh, right, eh? Yeah. I thought that was just cheering because no, no, he made it off the dirt. I which gear I was Yeah, in. right. Yeah. I thought you were going fast for first. Yeah, yeah. I was. <laughs> I told you. I was in this guy may think that yeah. bike go very yeah. fast for first. Finally got here. There are V-Stroms everywhere. It's a Strom Fest. It is a Strom Fest. Finally got here. Got here. All the bikes lined up, ready for a photo. Get everyone positioned down in there in the hot sun and we'll get one photo of everyone. About time. The party has begun. <laughs> How many bikes can you knock over? Yeah, someone said that um, this was the best road they've ever done. <laughs> oh, I don't like this road at all. Too, too many corners. Mm. <laughs> it's horrible. It's, it's terrible this road, yeah. Mm.